Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the Stat Man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the Stat Room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I get into the good and the wonderful that happened this week in DFS, let me get into my positive word. And my word for this fine morning is habits. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what kind of habits are you working on each day? What kind of habits are you doing that is going to either propel you to greatness or will knock you down the hill to being a loser? You're doing one or the other. There's no such thing as just being steady. You're either improving or you're regressing every day. If you wake up every day at a, at a reasonable time, you work on your dreams, you work on your goals, you work on yourself and you work on your body, you will eventually become successful and read three books on whatever it is you want to do and you'll be successful. This is how you be unsuccessful. These are unsuccessful habits. Sleep all day, be on Facebook, worrying about LeBron James, worrying about you know everybody else except what you're doing. Tweet back and forth all day where you're not being productive, never work on yourself, complain about everything, never write your goals down and don't read and you will have the habits of a broke person. So guys, you either have positive habits or you'll need to get into a habit of losing. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there with habits, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so before I get into all the wonderfulness, I am wearing on my all black for the four NFL teams whose season is over in week four. Yes, that will be the Giants. The 49ers, the Browns, and as always, the Chargers, the most overhyped team in the preseason in NFL history, who always falls short. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, before I get into my four horsemen, let me tell you who is in witness protection. That will be quarterback Joe Flacco, the Patriots defense, the Rams defense, the Giants whole team well i guess you can't put beckham in there. he did do well in eli but no oh and four it's a team effort in losing as it is winning 49ers browns whole team and the chargers as a whole all right guys so that's my witness that's my witness protection if you have anybody you want to put in witness protection put them in the comment section now guys don't forget to check out the stat room that's vaughn i have some wonderful deals going on hey we're approaching NBA and NFL season. I have a good NBA and NFL package deal going on. And you guys remember, I started these videos during the NBA season. So y'all know how I do for NBA. All right, guys. So let me get into my four horsemen. I do not want to waste a lot of you guys' time. First, we're going to get quarterback Jay Cutler. I know you're like, come on, stat man. It's Jay Cutler. But no, guys. Jay Cutler is only 6,700. He's going up against Tennessee. They are the 29th ranked pass defense, and you saw what Deshaun Watson did to them. Now, I know Jay Cutler is no way near Deshaun Watson, but he's at home, and this team is in, is in a bad way because their quarterback is hurt. They can't stop the run. They can't stop the pass, and they're on the road. Miami will have a big game. Next, I'm giving you Ajahi, the running back from Miami. He's only 7,300, guys. He will have a breakout game. If he doesn't have a breakout game, then I will not play him ever again because if he can't break out this week, then he doesn't deserve to be on our four horsemen. He's going up against a 21st-ranked rush defense. I think he gets two goal line carries. I think he gets us about 22 points. All right, now we're getting um, wide receiver Parker from Miami. Yes, I'm doing a Miami stack. He's only 6,100. He will get about 88 yards on about seven or eight catches and a touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. Then we're going to end it with the Baltimore Ravens defense. I wouldn't normally pick them, but they're going on the road playing Oakland with a backup QB. And if you guys seen EJ Manuel and you got a crab tree that's iffy, and then you got a wide receiver that has a case of the drop season. Marshawn Lynch can't seem to do anything. Oh, and the Ravens best defensive player, Brandon Williams, who clogs up the middle. We'll be back on Sunday, and you will see. If you saw the Ravens defense the past two weeks, that was that was with no Brandon Williams. He will be back this week. I think they shut Oakland down and forced about three turnovers. All right, guys. So I'm gonna leave it there. 
I hope you like what I did. Hey guys, if you watch me for the first time, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And guys, I will leave in the comment section the link to my website. And guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people that means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And guys, don't forget to thank an ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. All right, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your morning and have a wonderful day and start off with positive habits. Love y'all.